<sighs> the birds are singing, the flowers are blooming, my bladder is throbbing. Yup, it's probably 3.30 in Thursday afternoon. Time to give me some breakfast. <sighs> hmm. Nothing really here for me to eat. Figures. <sighs> what gotta get around you? Oh! Oh, oh uh, hey there. Uh, didn't see you there, man. Uh, uh I was skeptical, never mind. Oh, I I'm sorry, I, I didn't know. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Uh, what are you doing here anyway? Well, I was thinking about making my own little sandwich shop because, you know, I love to eat Subway footlongs, but uh, I'm kind of worried about my financial status, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna make some sandwiches homemade and probably make some for everyone. Hmm, hmm. Is there anything I could get you at the store? Well, uh, let's see. Huh. Let's see here. Huh. It appears that we're, uh, yeah. I kind of need to pick up some spices on my own. Oh, can I, can I help you? Um, you stay right here, man. I'm just going to use, uh, 3% of my power to do a little transportation. Well, man, looks like I'm heading off. And remember, if anything happens, just call me. And I'll be coming right around her. Um, look, just call me, okay? Okay, bye now. <sighs> that guy's weird. <sighs> now, with no other intermissions or anything happening, let's see what I can. Oh, come on! <laughs> Peter, I have finally come for my revenge! Again! Yeah. Third, third, third time's the charm, I guess. Oh, where was I? Oh, yeah. Now you are. Whoa, 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 Dennis, I swear to Arceus, if you don't go back, I'm gonna use this butter knife to spread your butt all over a cracker and call it lunch. Whoa, what? Um. Okay, I, I have two things I need to say. One, what you said was probably one of the most... Uh... Look, don't, don't ever say that. Or in fact, don't even say that in public again. Two, it's like 4 o'clock. Isn't it a bit too late to get lunch? Look, Dennis. I just woke up like 30 minutes ago. I'm hungry. I still need to pee. But more importantly, I am now mad furious, sick, and tired of seeing your face. Please, get out. But look, all I'm just, just trying to say is, get out, please. Dennis, just, just get out. Oh, hey, get out. Oh, come on. Can we just talk this out? <sighs> Dennis? No, I do not want to talk this out with you. I mean, you want me to list all the things why I don't like you? Um, sure, I have free time. <sighs> okay. Well, for one, when we were young, you pretty much used me as a meat shield. Um, what's another one? You and everyone else keep harassing me. Like, teasing. I did not like that. I did not consent to that. And, uh, I think like two years ago, you kind of did identity fraud. Almost committed physical abuse, and I'm pretty sure that's pretty much it. Um, Peter, it's called family bonding. Of course you're gonna get teased and roughhoused done all around. It, it's kind of like growth and trust. Besides, before you were born, I had to go through all this stuff, and you didn't see me crying about it. Yeah, and that was after I was born. You know, I had a dream, an epiphany, a vision, a, uh, um, you get where I'm going, right? Just get on with it. Fine. 
So, a couple of days ago, I had a vision, and it came to me very clearly. You don't like me, do you? It took you that long to realize that? If you don't want to help my goals to become a reality, then I have decided to do something about it. Oh yeah? And what do you mean by that? <laughs> I've gathered the toughest, strongest helpers from many parts all over the world! But they never met each other, so seeing how well everyone interacts will amuse me. And because your sandwich-eating reptile friend isn't here to save you for the time being, I'd like to see you try to stop me with your own two stubby hands. I'm not gonna let you get away with this. Oh, and uh, don't even bother trying to get any of your roommates. I've already adult them all personally before I met you. And once I'm done dealing with you, I'm gonna take this house for myself! <laughs> Why do you want to take this house? Well, apparently becoming an activist for an occupation, it doesn't get you great income. And I kinda... I'm kinda a little bit behind rent. Uh, I kinda sent out a whole bunch of flies and papers before I found out that rent was kind of coming due, so I decided, oh, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? Oh, wait a minute, I usually come to this house every so often, so I was thinking, hey, why don't I just use that address and just put it there? And uh, I am also gonna have to kick you out once a whole bunch of people come in, so, uh, yeah, I kinda need you to get out or move back to wherever you are. <laughs> uh, you, you could do that for me, right? Right? And just like before, I'd like to see you try. Oh, goody, goody, gumdrops. Somebody's here. Goody, goody, go Okay, I really do not want to hear that ever again. Uh. 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 Hello there. Hey, man. Long time no see. Um, uh, Gus, I, uh, I didn't expect you to be here. Um, what brings you to this place? Well, I decided to stop by the other day and see if anything happened, and, uh, I just came by and I happened to read one of your pamphlets, and I thought, Hey, you think I could join in? There is absolutely no way that you could actually be part of my crew. Besides, I have a special password for everyone. Um, if you do want to join me, what is the password? You don't have a password. What? You don't have a password. Most people think that there has to be a password, but uh, they probably don't. <sighs> Fine, you are correct. I do not have a password, but I might change it. Come on in. Come on in. <sighs> huh. I didn't know that uh, there was a password. There wasn't. Oh. <sighs> I see that you're, uh, comfortable. And now, <clears throat> Gus, would you like to know why I brought you here? Uh, world domination? I wouldn't really call it world domination. It's more of a world's attention. Did you know? Well, I can't say did you know, but I want to ask you a question. Do Pokemon have rights like humans? Well, maybe I guess I- SHUT UP! I WASN'T TALKING TO YOU! Uh... Maybe? Well... I'd like to say that, but unfortunately... Not all Pokemon have the same rights as humans. In fact... The way I said that... But yeah... This called for Pokemon liberation! I believe that Pokemon should have the same rights as humans. They should not be slaves. They should be free and independent like those people over there. I'm sure most of what you believe is that humans and Pokemons are partners that have come to live together because we want and need each other. However, is that really the truth? Have you ever considered that humans only believe that this is the truth? Pokemon are subject to selfish commands of their trainers. They get pushed around when they are our partners at work. They are living beings from who they are... Oh great, I, I, I don't have this all planned out. Look, what I'm trying to say is that I need the biggest minds to help me reach my ambition. To have Pokemons have the same rights as humans. 
And because that, well, you are, you're, you're trendy with the tags and tweets and memes, right? I guess so. I want you to help me. Gus, I would not trust him if I were you. This guy likes to flick around his silver tongue. You really want to do this? I mean, remember what happened last time? He committed identity fraud and took your partner. Hmm. He does sound convincing. Yeah, but he also did bad things to you, so... Are you gonna stand your ground? Hmm. Oh, come on! That was two years ago! Let bygones be bygones! Why can't you just simply let it go, huh? I won't. After all the things that you did to me. Oh, come on! I said it was all in the past! How stingy are you? Who's at the door? Ugh. Uh, hello there, uh, how can I help you? Greetings, my name is Maxi Maxwell Maximilian the Millionth, representative of Team Magma, at your service. Oh, uh, wow, uh, that is a, uh, that's a pretty long name. Are you serious? Negatory. I thought if I added another M to my name it would resonate a pattern. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, well, if you're here for the flyer that you saw- Whoa. Hey, guys? Hello? Huh, the wind closed the door. Shall we help, man? No, I think they got on to run it. Uh, oh, never mind, they, they opened the door. Welcome back! Oh. I am so sorry about that. I, uh, uh, I have some guests. Okay, uh, sorry for the interruption, and I'm pretty sure, uh, you two didn't hear. This here is Maxi Maxwell Maximilian the First. He's a scientist, an eco-environmentalist, and a member of Team Magma. Say a couple things, Maxi. With pleasure. Salutations. My name is Maxine Maxwell. Uh, I already said your name. You did? Oh. <clears throat> I am here to propel humanity to greater heights of progress and evolution. So, let me get this straight. You're red. Mm-hmm. You're... You do like journalism. Uh, a little bit. And you don't like water. Nope. Are you sure you don't work for IGN? Hey, Dennis, can I ask you something? Sure. Well, it's that, um, I need to go to the bathroom, but afterwards I'm gonna get everyone a couple of drinks and snacks, you know, keep the whole party going, I guess. What should I get? Gus told me that he wants to get, like, a Diet Dr. Pepper. Hmm. Perhaps I am a bit quenched. I would like to have what he is having. Same thing here. You know I'm not gonna get you anything, right? What seems to be his problem? <sighs> he just has a lot of trust issues with me. It's just that, uh... Well, let's just say that whenever we have family bonding time, he just really doesn't like our traditions. I see. What about it? The chemistry relation between you two are... familiar. I happen to remember a certain individual that I do not trust or bond with. We were originally friends, but uh, things turned a bit to the more... Oh, somebody must be at the door. Sheesh, who could be here at this point of the hour? Oh, uh, hey there, uh, do you need something? Huh? You're late. You kept me waiting. Oh, uh, uh, I, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know that. Uh, hey, um, I'm leaving to go get some snacks now. Uh, okay, uh, bye. Bye. Hey. Sharp soup. Uh, oh, oh, uh, um, sorry. It's that, uh, I have other guests in the house. But, uh, hey, uh, wonderful water, isn't it? It's hot. You're wearing a winter jacket. Also, it's like the beginning of summer. Well, middle of summer to be exact, but yeah, 
Come on, come on. We got some cold drinks for everyone. And that is where vegans come from. I don't know, man. It doesn't really sound something like that. All right, you two. I don't know what you're talking about. I want to show everybody our newest friend. Well, co-worker. Go ahead. Tell us more about yourself. Greetings. I am Lyle Croissant, a member of Team Flair. Wait, Team Flair? Aren't you that one group that tried to destroy the entire world? Yes. Yes, we did. And with no regrets. Okay, that's kind of hardcore. Just as the Kalos region's two legendary Pokemon gave life and took life, people can be divided into two different groups. Those who give and those who take. However, in this world, some foolish beings exist who would show their strength by only taking what isn't theirs. Urgh, makes my blood boil. Fools who feel entitled to what they have been given will only rot this world. All right then, what are you going to do about it? I identify as somebody who gives, and what is the most appropriate way is by having a giant laser blasting down. I will give everyone total annihilation. I will give destruction, death to everyone who dares to fight Team Plasma, even if it means killing all of you. I think he's gone a little too loopy. Don't you agree? Yeah. Yeah, 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 he is. Certainly. Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> what are we going to do? <laughs> Who is that behind the door? I will proceed to get the door. Oh, and uh, Lyle, by the way, really? Is there something about me? You remind me a little bit of Team Galactic, but only this time, well, you're a bit forgettable. Forgettable? FORGETTABLE! What does my ambition have similarity to Team Galactic? Well, both you and Galactic both want to destroy something for your own benefits. But, uh, to be honest, I do not have much fun memories of Team Flare. That's all. Uh, uh, who am I speaking to? Hello there. I'm here to give you good package today. A parcel? Hmm. Perhaps it must be one of the inhabitants around this house. I want you to look at this box. Look at box. See? Smooth. Handle with care. Yeah? I slap box now. I slap box now, okay? Sir, ma'am, or whatever pronoun you go by. What? Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, you like uh, that? You like that? Uh, oh, it's good sound. I love good box sound. I love slapping boxes. I, I'm sorry, but you are radiating an unholy amount of cringe in this neighborhood. You see these books? You see these books? It's not my box. It's your box. This box for you. You got mail. Uh, oh, oh, uh, 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 okay. Uh, l let me, let me just, uh, write it over here. Yo, what is it? It appears to be a parcel of unknown origins. Who's it to? I have no idea. And, uh, done. Alright, uh, where do I submit this? Oh, I just need this. Here you go. Oh. Okay, I give box to you now. Hold on. Okay, I leave now. Bye. 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 Oh, okay. I, I leave now. I leave now. Hey. Hey. You're up? Oh, I don't think this is good. I don't think he's around. Uh... Are you all right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, my head hurts. Uh, thank you. Uh, don't mention it. It's a good thing you don't have brain damage, because otherwise, 
Yeah, we, we kind of need you. You're sort of the brains of the group. Speaking of brains, what's in this package? Hmm. Must be upside down. Well, we're gonna have to flip open it. I mean, flip, flip over it. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Looks like this is to me. Uh, 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 any idea? Huh. Looks like this is to me. Uh, uh. So, we open the box? Yeah, we're gonna open the box. Alright, you two. You're going to hold on to the other side, and we're going to open this one. On the count of three, let's open. One, two, three! I could have sworn I thought I had holes in this box. Oh, well, look who it is. Oh, sweet Arceus. Not him. Wait, you two know each other? <sighs> yes. We go way back. This is Archie Comics, a representative of Team Aqua. Archie, why are you in a box? Say, uh, Maxie, um, I heard you're a scientist now. You did not answer my question. Why are you in a box? Say, uh, how much do you know about the elements in the periodic table? <sighs> Very well. Why? Well, ever heard of the element of surprise? <sighs> hmm. I didn't expect that reaction. Usually you'd give me a chuckle, but uh, that doesn't happen periodically. I guess puns aren't quite my element. Uh, where is that noise coming from? I, um, I got paid $30 in advance to come here, um, I am going to bill this to you afterwards. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to be here for like a couple of minutes, so, um, yeah. Ugh. <sighs> so, uh, you say you two happen to know each other? Well, yes. Long ago, we were the closest friends, until one day, he did something I will never forget. Oh, you mean that one time where I accidentally scared you to get rid of the hiccups and you peed your pants? Uh, I, uh, uh, uh. Wait a minute, you had the hiccups, and he tried to scare you, and you peed yourself? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I'm just really sensitive, okay? Nobody knows what I go through. Oh, of course I do. Oh, come on. It ain't the first time you've leaked. Huh? I mean, think about it. Remember all those experiments that you've made? I, uh, I have cut myself. Yeah. Wow. You have a rich history in leaking. No wonder why there's a product called MaxiPad. <laughs> hmm. Speaking of leaks, I wonder what's taking Peter so long with getting the drinks. Oh, come on. I was just kidding. I mean, we're still friends, right? N no. Look, we're on opposite teams. Therefore, I do not want to have any sort of friendship with you. You still like me, huh? I, it, it, no, no. Yeah, I think he still likes me. Uh, it, it's not like I still like you or anything. Baka. Nope, never, never ever. Oh, come on, it was just one time. Never. Oh, come on. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. I could try one one more time. Never. I will never allow you to do that. Uh, uh, will you two ever shut up? Can't you two just make out or just apologize? He won't. Hmm. Hmm. It appears that we are missing one more member. But... Oh my, 
It's five minutes past seven o'clock. It's already been three hours. <sighs> Hope there's no traffic on the way. Ugh, seriously. Where is the last member? I could have sworn he, she, or whatever pronoun it goes by would boo. <laughs> hey, I thought I told you to, to shut up. Hey, yo, it's him. Huh? Don't scare me like that. Sheesh. Come on. Come on. That's... That's not cool. I don't like that. Don't do that. Fine. Ah, <sighs> you, uh, you really scared me back there. Um, especially how you kind of, you know, gone through the back door. So, uh, you locked the door? Mm hmm. Uh, okay. Oh, okay, so, uh, tell me more about yourself. My name is Helio, but some people call me Ray. I am a representative of Team Galactic. I am a scientist, as well as an expert in technology and digital media and extensive history. Oh, oh, uh, that's, that's pretty amazing. Um, what made you, uh, what made you join here? Well... I have read your pamphlets and flyers, and might as well help you out on your liberation. Oh, that's splendid. Hmm. You know, I think everyone's here now. Are you sure there should have been more? Yeah, I thought there was gonna be more. Yeah. Hmm. No, no, not really. I am actually quite picky on who should and shouldn't be on my team. After all... I read through every... Well, actually, no, I just only read all of you. Nobody else ever even bothered to come and email me about my liberation. <sighs> well, this is the best I could do. Now then, I've already read all of your summary, and now is when I'll tell you what department you'll be in. Maxi? Huh? You have a high intelligence level and a skills in advanced mathematics and ecology. Therefore, you will be the brains of the group. Hmm. Just as suspected. And Archie. Hmm? Uh. You have a great heart and a sense of justice. Despite being part of an eco-terrorist group. But your knowledge of the world is phenomenal. Therefore, you're the navigator of the group whenever we go outside. Ah, Helio, just the person I'm looking for. Mm. Just like Maxi over there, the one in red. You two also share very high intelligence. Mm -hmm. But you also have a knack for digital stuff and technology as well. So you're going to be the assistant brains of the group whenever, you know, something bad happens to him. Hmm. Interesting. Lyle, my favorite French guy. Uh, sort of French. Colosseum. Uh, look. You're part of a very forgettable group. Watch it. No, 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 but you also do have a great taste in fashion. And financially, you're rich in both physical cash and cryptocurrency. And you have worked with politicians, have you? Uh, yes, I... I do have a couple of people I... Yeah, so, uh... You're gonna be the public image. You're gonna do a lot of speeches and, uh... Publicity stuff. But... I don't do cryptocurrency. And finally, Gus. Gus... I don't like you. I know. But... Similar to Lyle, you're not forgettable. Thanks. So, uh, I know you don't take your job seriously, but, uh, you too could probably spread the word. You know, hit the young masses, do weird funny dances on mobile apps and stuff. You're, you're the poster boy. Now that everyone is here, 
I'm pretty sure we can- Hold on a minute. Ugh. What is it, Lyle? Are you really sure this is everyone? Yeah. Well, where's Rocket? And Yell? Hmm. Well, Team Yell is sort of a joke, and Rocket? They're just gonna capture us and sell us for big cash. So, uh, just playing safe, I don't wanna team up with anyone who can sell us for a cheap buck. Huh. And now, with the power of six, we can now start our liberation. Yeah. Oh no. I came back from the spa store and I ended up seeing you of all Pokemon and with more allies. What in the name of Arceus is that? I believe it is called a Ultra Instinct Skeptile. We are screwed. You made Peter go fetch your drinks like a slave. I will never forgive tyrants like you. <laughs> Ultra Instinct. Somebody's watching too much Dragon Ball. Huh? Don't worry. We got everything under control. Ugh. Little cowards. Fine. Looks like I'm going to have to teach you a lesson all by myself. Now just because I have one hand exposed out of my robe, that does not mean I am-